guys my name is ankush kaurav and i welcome you to con2 series this tutorial is in continuation with the earlier one where we learned all about form validation fundamentals let me quickly give you a brief overview of what we learned so far in the previous tutorial and subsequently we will learn all new concepts related to form validation in detail in this demo so let's start guys in the previous tutorial i showed you two ways for customizing the error message for size constraint which we placed on top of student hobby field the first way which we looked at was you simply provide the custom error message as an argument at the place where you declare the size constraint like this and the second way which we looked at was you provide the custom error message in a separate properties file in your spring mvc project and for that what i did in the previous tutorial i included a properties file with the name student messages in the project and provided the custom error message for size constraint in that file for spring mvc to consider this properties file at runtime when any constraint violation occurs i included this code snippet in the spring scanification file in this project with this code snippet i'm simply instructing spring mvc framework hey spring mvc framework in this project i have included a properties file with the name student messages at runtime when any constant violation occurs please consider this file to get the custom error message for that constraint so after all these changes now if i provide here some value in the student hobby field which would violate the size constraint which we have placed on top of student hobby field and sum the form the application is going to send back the same admission form with this error message description and the point to note here is this error message which spring mvc is displaying in case of size constraint violation is actually coming from this properties file as all this which i just talked about in a very brief manner i explained in detail in the previous tutorial now let's proceed further guys here in this error message i would want you to observe a very important point i've hard coded here three important values in this error message the field name for which i kept the size constraint min value that is 2 and max value that is 30 field name that is student hobby for which i kept size constraint min value that is 2 and max value that is 30 now spring mvc says developers this is not so good way to keep all these as hard coded values in the error message you know in future if some developer would make a change in any of these three values here in the student class then he would need to make a change in this error message too for all those modifications which is not so good way of programming so spring mvc says developers in order to avoid this situation in future you simply replace these hard coded values with these place holders that is 0 1 and 2 placed in curly braces now after this change at run time when any user would violate the size constraint which we have placed on top of student hobby field then before displaying this error message to the user in the response web page spring mvc framework would replace these place holders with the corresponding values which we have provided here in the student class it would replace 0 with the field name that is student hobby 2 with the min value that is 2 and 1 with the max value that is 30 which we have provided here in the student class guys let me quickly show you this working on the browser and subsequently i will explain more on the changes which i have just made in this properties file guys for spring mvc to consider all the changes which we have just made in this properties file 
we got to restart the server so let's stop the server and start it again cool so server is up again so after this change now if I provide here some value in the student hobby field which would violate the size constraint which we have placed on top of student hobby field and submit the form let's see what happens cool the application sent back the same admission form with this error message but the point to note here is before displaying this error message in the response web page spring mvc replaced all these placeholders with the corresponding values which we have provided here in the student class so far so good now there are a couple of important points which you should note here for all the changes which we just made in this properties file guys i just showed you the concept of placeholders which we provided here in the custom error message for size constraint but in general while using such placeholders in any other custom error message in this properties file for any other constraint you please follow these simple guidelines now one last and important concept guys in this demo if you remember i had to restart the server after i made change in this properties file for spring mvc to consider it now spring mvc says hey developers if you do not want to restart the server every time you make a change in this properties file then you simply go to the springs configuration file in your project and add this statement in the message source bin with this statement i'm simply instructing spring mvc framework here spring mvc framework at runtime you please load all the changes which anyone is making in this properties file after every one second guys i would recommend using this feature only in the development environments and not in the production environment because this feature may degrade the performance of application so use this feature only and only if it is needed otherwise don't use it in your application in the next tutorial we learn about some more form validation annotations like not null not empty past future etc etc along with looking at some more concepts related to form validation guys a big thank you for liking all of my tutorials on spring mvc series if you have any feedback or queries please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email id for all of your queries please hit the like button if you really like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial